Colts at 15. I think this might be the floor for Brock Bowers. And you think about this Ooh. Indianapolis offense. What they want to do is they want to win the math game every single snap. We want to have multiple options and make one of your defenders have to choose one of those two paths and then as a result find a way to expose the other path that was not guarded. And Brock Bowers so good after the catch, so reliable. He doesn't have to be a huge factor in the running game yet as a blocker because he's so darn good after the catch, has an incredible catch radius, obviously a great kid as well. Uh, was a little bit banged up during this past season, Laura, and then he came back and he looked no worse for the wear whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, he was banged up. The toughness, the hard work that he implores, it, you would not believe how hard that guy works. All right, Mina, what do you make of Fields' pitch for Bowers and in Indy? I mean, I, I love the idea of Brock Bowers in Indianapolis for a couple of reasons, um, scheme fit, and then what it does for the development of your young quarterback. Um, Field really laid it out well with Shane Sykin's scheme. Very heavy play action offense, top 10 rate, and then, of course, uh, very heavy in RPOs. Basically, they would use Brock not too dissimilarly from how him, you saw him used at Georgia. And as far as what he does for Richardson, well, he gives him a huge target who gets open quickly, uh, makes difficult catches look easy, and then gets you yards after the catch. And when I think about what we want to see from Richardson, what Indianapolis would like to see in terms of his development throwing, particularly to the short and intermediate parts of the field, I, I can just imagine Bowers doing so much for him. And really, that's what this season for the Colts is all about, uh, setting up your young quarterback for success so that he can develop and you can evaluate him uh, to make sure that he's the future of your franchise.